It's a Tin Man here at a nice little uh, hobby. Um, like I think it's just a local farmer who's doing his stuff. He might have a contractor on here, but I think it's a local farmer. It's kind of neat when people can still be into honey. I'd love to be doing honey. This place is real secure as you can see, so I'm staying back. But I just wanted to just do a little bit of a honeybee observation for us all. Hold on, I'm going to set my stand. Here we are. I just had the one pod. I wonder if our buddies are able to sneak in here without... Oh man, this camera. Without, um... Leaving too much evidence that they've broken in. You know, you know, they're such magicians with a lot of the caretaking of the landscape and so on and so forth. Maybe they got it down to where they uh, just have their own bee collection system going. Peace out from the Tin Man. Not much around here, is there for any bees? I mean, there are... They are there, but... That sun there and stuff, you... Ooh, look at that guy. That guy was all uh, either covered in pollen or... Not really looking much like a honeybee. Here he is again. Well, there's a few of them. They're like, they're, uh... More like a bumblebee. Let's see if I can find one. One thing about the berries is the system could be screwed up like in these ones where the other berries go bad too quick. It's one thing, the way that they did make this all pop so fast, because this one doesn't look like it's doing very well. Oh, maybe it's more heat related on the newer stuff, because that's one thing also is, old little plant um, is really supposed to be more into the production of this, not all this new growth they're doing. So if you can, try to find old growth berries. Last year's uh, plant life. Peace out, Tin Man. Hope you're enjoying hanging out. I'm enjoying you hanging out.